a national, regional and international digital presence backed by the most experienced and top-notch broadcast professionals in the industry. A very good evening to you. The new look Kenya Broadcasting Corporation is truly ahead of the pack. Turn to the mother of broadcasting in Kenya for stories that resonate with our identity, our aspirations as a people united in purpose. Real stories of hard work, of passion, of creativity, of big dreams. Stories that cement our nationhood. Stories that bring us together as one. We take pride in our shared heritage and destiny. KBC. Informing, educating and entertaining Kenyans as one nation. KBC. Kenya's listening. Kenya's watching. Hey! Hi, ya! What do I Allah! Hey! Nissan Serena and Yohi. Na unaweza kuwa wewe ndio tunapikia simu. Kodi ya Nissan Serena ni NS. Alafu kisha kwenye amount ni 50 bob. Hii Nissan Serena tunakuatia na shilingi 50. Kujiunga na Quickbid ni rahisi. Enda kwenye Mpesa, bonyeza Paybill, kisha weka business number 4032353. Kwenye account weka kodi ya bidhaa unayotaka na bid yako ya chini zaidi. Kwa mfano TV16. Kisha weka shilingi 22 kama idadi yako. Weka bid yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke. Kumbuka, bid ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua. Quickbid da bora kwa bei ya chini On this week's episode of Zurura we head to Kenya's backyard to visit our very own Wild West <laughs> Then it's off to visit one of East Africa's most beautiful tribes who show us a thing or two about looking good then buckle up, lean back, and get yourself ready to be whisked across one of the best viewpoints Kenya has to offer. That's all coming right up on Surura. Find your adventure only on KBC. the kingdom of God. In Luke chapter 17 verses 20 to 21, Jesus Christ said, The kingdom of God is within you. What else would you need? And you are king. If you desire to begin your life again as a follower of Jesus Christ, please say the sinner's prayer and follow these four steps to go on in your new Christian life. Pray daily, read and study the Bible daily, start in the gospel according to St. John, witness to others and fellowship with genuine Christians. Kwa machine yangu naitwa Eric. Kama unaweza niita Mugaka. Mimi ni Socha. Kasi yangu e, ni kuchunga mali ya wenyewe. Hakuna kitu uko uchungu sana. Kama mtu kupotesa, especially pesa, ameweka kwa nyumba ama ofisini. Na hizo kesi ukuwa ngumu sana kufuatiliwa na waomba wenzangu, eh? Kama vile mimi ufanya, weka pesa yako kwa panga account juu KDIC imekuwa kikisia iko safe weka kitu kwa pang Be sure check out for a KDIC sticker in your banking hall KDIC protecting your deposits
popote pale mpenzi mtazamaji unapoendelea kuitazama runinga hii pendayo KBC Channel 1 tunakutana tena kwenye darubini weekend tukufahamishe mengi yanayojiri kutoka humu na maeneo tofauti jina langu ni Nancy Nyanja bila shaka kama alivyosema jina langu pia ni Harith Salim na pia katika spoti yupo mwana spoti wetu bila shaka anaitwa Timothy Kipnuse kwenye spoti tutakuwa na kufahamisha mtazamaji kuhusiana na mbio za Olimpiki au michezo ya Olimpiki ambayo inaendelea kupamba moto mtazamaji na mingine mingi hasa hapa nchini kuhusiana na club mwenyekiti wa klabu cha Gormai ya Kutonyo Kali ambao wanatumia nembo za klabu hiyo tutakuwa unajiunga nami timu ya Kipnusu mtazamaji na mtazamaji sasa tupate videokezo na mtangazaji wetu ishara hilo simwaura this to us and to the members who have instructed us is an attack on the independence of the judiciary jaji mkuu martha komeo ataka maafisa idara ya mahakama wakiwemo majaji kutotetereka katika majukumu yao they have declined to give him a free bond to release him i was not given the opportunity to represent him or even to be present when he was uh, being told to record a statement mbunge wa madhira rigadhi gashagwa kuendelea kuzuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha gigiri baada ya kutiwa nguvuni nyumbani kwa Kenyeri na hatimaye michezo olimpiki ya rasmi leo jijini Tokyo Japan Na mahala na sala ni karibu na ndio sasa mkoko unaanza kualika maua. Ni taarifa yetu ya kwanza ni kuhusiana na mambo ya kisheria na jaji mkuu Martha Kaome amewakishia majaji na maafisa wa idara ya mahakama kuwa idara hiyo itakuwa huru kwa kiwataka kutekeleza majukumu yao bila hofu na kuzingatia sheria. Kaome amezungumza Kaome amezungumza kufuatia kukamatwa na kuhojiwa kwa majaji Agrim Chelule na Said Chitembe kwa madai ya ufisadi. Wakati huo mahakama ya kikatiba imeizuia idara ya ujasusi nchini DCI kuwakamata na kuwashtaki Mchelule um, na Chitembe hadi kesi iliyowasilishwa na chama cha mahakimu na majaji itakapoamuliwa shauri ya kurejesha mali imefungia mali ya mmoja wa naibu mkurugenzi wa halmashauri ya usimamizi wa barabara za mashinani kera Margaret Wanja Modoi ya dhamani ya shilingi milioni 374.5 jaji James Wakiaga pia aliruhusu kusimamishwa kwa shilingi milioni 94 pesa taslimu zilizokuwa katika akaunti kadhaa za mshukiwa akisubiri kuamuliwa kwa kesi hiyo Halmashauri ya ARA inadai kwamba haiwezekani kwa mkurugenzi huyo kupata utajiri mkubwa kiasi hicho katika kipindi cha majuma. Naibu huyo wa mkurugenzi aliye na umri wa miaka 34 alinunua nyumba 35 papo hapo katika miezi minne kabla ya Septemba mwaka 2019 wakati serikali ilipokuwa ikiondoa noti za zamani za shilingi elfu moja ili kukabiliana na shughuli haramu za kifedha. Bentro Njue Darubini Na tukisonga mbele mtazamaji michezo olimpiki ya mwaka 2020 ili ngoa nanga hileo rasmi leo katika sherehe ya ufunguzi ikiandaliwa katika uga wa Olimpiki jijini Tokyo, Japani bila kuwepo kwa mashabiki. Sasa wana michezo nao pia lazimika kuingia uwanjani wakiwa wamevalia barakoa. ya ufunguzi wa michezo ya Olimpiki jijini Tokyo Ujapani ilifanyika kwenye uwanja usiokuwa mashabiki licha ya maandalizi ya michezo hiyo kuerishwa kwa ajili ya hofu ya janga la virusi vya corona mwaka jana ni takriban wajumbe moja waliokuwa kwenye uga huo wa mashabiki 1068 akiwamo rais wa Ufaransa Emmanuel Macron, bitaifa wa Marekani Jill Biden na mfalme wa Japani Naruhito ambao waliidhinisha rasmi ufunguzi wa michezo hiyo. Mashabiki wageni walipigwa marufuku kwa mara ya kwanza kwenye historia huku mashabiki wa nyumbani wakiruhusiwa kutezama michezo hiyo kwenye vituo vilivyotengwa nje ya uwanja wana michezo washirikishi na wanahabari watatakiwa kufuata kanuni zilizowekwa za kudhibiti maambukizi ya virusi vya corona huku wakipimwa kila siku 
hata hivyo kila mwanamichezo anatakiwa kuingia uwanjani akiwa amevalia barakoa Na serikali ya Kenya inashirikiana na mashirika mengine ya kimaendeleo kubuni vituo tisa vya kupimia ugonjwa wa COVID-19 kwenye vituo vya mpakani ili kudhibiti maambukizi ya ugonjwa huo akiongea katika kituo cha mpakani cha Maika Suftu katika kaunti ya Mandera katibu mwandamizi katika Wizara ya Afya Rashid Aman amesema hatua hiyo itawezesha kudhibiti kusambaa kwa ugonjwa huo Ujumbe kutoka Wizara ya Afya, Washirika wa Kimaendeleo na Maafisa wa Kibalozi ulikuwa kwenye kaunti ya Mandera kukadiria hatua zilizowekwa kukabiliana na kusambaa kwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19. Ujumbe huo ulizuru kituo cha mpakani cha Maika Suftu kujifahamisha na jinsi serikali inajibidisha kudumisha usalama katika vituo Mwana wizara leba na ulinzi wa kijamii imeonya taasisi zote ambazo e, ni za uajiri humo nchini na hazina kiuka taratibu zitakabiliwa kisheria waziri Simon Chelugui amedokeza kuwa ni asilimia 40 pekee ya taasisi hizo zinazotimiza mahitaji kisheria Kuchipuza kwa taasisi bandia za uajiri hapa nchini kumeacha wakenya wengi katika hali ya kutamausha mbali na kuvutia umaskini wa serikali wanaoangaziwa haswa ni taasisi zinazoajiri wageni katika kazi za nyumbani na ambao baadaye hunyanyaswa na kudhulumiwa mikononi mwa waajiri wao kutokana na hali hiyo waziri wa leba Simon Chelugui ametoa onyo kali kwa taasisi kama hizo we don't allow people sitting in a room somewhere in town and starting to recruit we don't know where they are taking Kenyans we don't know who they are we don't know what mission they have and therefore these are issues that lead us to wrong hands so we must vet even those agencies who are coming from abroad hata hivyo alisema matumaini yangalipo kwani wa Kenya wanaofanya kazi ugenini walituma nyumbani shilingi bilioni tatu na kumi mwaka uliopita labor migration as immense social economic benefits to both the countries of origin and destination alikuwa akiongea jijini Nairobi wakati wa uzinduzi wa kamati itakayowajibika kubuni taratibu za kuchunguza na kutoa ripoti katika ngazi za kijamii hukumu idadi ya wakenya ambao wanadhulumiwa kwenye mataifa ya ugaibuni kizidi kuongezeka na kuwa idadi ya kuogofia na kuikosesha lepe la usingizi wizara ya leba na ile ya mamlaka ya uajiri nchini sasa ni rasmi kwamba kuzinduliwa kwa kamati maalum ambayo itapiga msasa mashirika yote ambayo yanatoa uajiri kwa wananchi itakuwa mojepo ya masuala ambayo itaweza kutokomeza uhayawani huu Timothy Kipnosu Darubini Nairobi na mtazamaji baada ya taarifa hiyo tunakwenda mapumziko. Kupata Zaburi 18 mstari wa pili dial star 811 star 817 hash Mwenyezi Mungu ni mwamba wangu ngome yangu na mkombozi wangu Mungu wangu mwamba wangu ninayemkimbilia ninapohitaji kuwa salama Zaburi 18 mstari wa pili Zaburi 18 mstari wa pili dial star 811 star 817 hash Star 811 Star 817 Hash Trey, baby, to make you sit Cause love isn't here right now I guess we'll never know Asasi wa meshika na hale Eti penzi letu tuwe sare Akini, baby, use a jale 
This week the spotlight is on Viri the storyteller. Viri, a talented songwriter, guitarist and a performing artist signed under Soul Generation Record is known for his effortless vocals. The versatile musician has hits like Kissy Badai, Kitenge and Baridi under his belt. Catch Viri the storyteller on Easy Friday at 9.45pm with Shiksha Arora only on KBC Channel 1. awamu ya pili na tunaanza na marekebisho ya mwanzo wa awamu ya kwanza katika taarifa ambayo tulikuwa na mkanganyiko wa picha kidogo lakini hapa jaribika neno jaji mkuu Martha Kome amewakishia majaji na maafisa wa idara ya mahakama kuwa idara hiyo itakuwa huru huku akiwataka kutekeleza majukumu yao bila hofu na kuzingatia sheria Kome amezungumza kufuatia kukamatwa na kuhojiwa kwa majaji Agri Mochelule na Said Chitembwe kwa madai ya ufisadi wakati huo mahakama ya kikatiba imezuia idara ya ujasusi nchini DC ai kuwakamata na kuwashtaki mchelule na chitembwe hadi kesi iliyowasilishwa na chama cha mahakimu na majaji itakapoamuliwa taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari jaji mkuu Martha Kome amesema kwamba amefahamishwa kuhusu kukamatwa kwa majaji Agri Mchelule na Said Chitembwe siku ya Alhamisi hata hivyo hakuelezea zaidi kuhusu swala hilo kwani kesi kuhusiana na kukamatwa kwa majaji hao imewasilishwa mahakamani na chama cha mahakimu na majaji Kome hata hivyo amesema hakuna ripoti rasmi iliyotolewa na idara ya ujasusi kwa tume ya huduma za idara ya mahakama kama inavyohitajika. Awali chama hicho kupitia mawakili wake kiliwasilisha kesi mahakamani kupinga hatua hiyo ya idara ya ujasusi ya kuwakamata majaji hao wawili. Who are the accusers? Did the judges face the accusers? The accusers. The accusers were not present. There is no statement. There is no complaint. There is no OB. The actions of the DCI was aimed one to embarrass the judges, to humiliate the judges. Remember, Justice Mchelule was the judge and a commission of the JC. Mawakili hao wamesema hakuna habari yoyote iliyotolewa kabla ya kukamatwa kwao wakisema huenda hatua hiyo ilichukuliwa kufuatia hatua ya rais ya, ya kukosa kuidinisha uteuzi wa majaji hao kuhudumu katika mahakama ya rufaa kama ilivyopendekezwa na tume ya huduma za idara ya mahakama JSC hatua ya kukamatwa kwa majaji hao pia imeshtumiwa na mawakili wakuu kupitia mwenyekiti wao daktari Fred Ojambo to subject them to unwarranted searches in their chambers at the law courts it's a dreadful act that a dreadful act of impunity in the sense that it strikes to the very heart of justice Muchelule na Chitembwe walihojiwa na kuachiliwa baada ya kushughuli ya kutafuta pesa zinazodaiwa kuporwa kugonga mwamba. Bentro Njue, Darubini. Namfanya biashara aliyopiga risasi maafisa wa wili wa polisi na mmoja mmoja katika mkahawa wa Quivers Lounge jijini Nairobi atasalia korokoroni hadi tarehe 5 Agosti ambapo mahakama itaamua iwapo ataachiliwa kwa dhamana. Hakimu mkuu mwandamizi Esther Kimilu alisema mshtakiwa Dickson Njanja Mararo ataachiliwa hadi kubainika kwamba idara ya upelelezi wa jinai imewahakikishia mashahidi wote usalama wao. Mengine ni katika mseto wa habari za kaunti. Mshtakiwa Dickens Njanja Mararo atasalia kwenye korokoro za polisi hadi tarehe 5 Agosti. Kadhalika, mahakama ilisema kwamba mmoja wa wasiri wa Festus Msioka anaendelea kutibiwa kwenye hospitali moja Nairobi na hivyo polisi bado hawajaandikisha taarifa kutoka kwake. An injury on his neck, it has affected the nervous system. Uh, he's been now hospitalized since start. The bills are close to 5 million shillings now. Um, you know the challenges which um, are facing insurance uh, you know of government officers wakati huo huo zaidi ya wanachama 1025 wa chama cha kuboresha maslahi ya maskota huko Machakos waliozuia maafisa wa halmashauri ya usimamizi wa barabara za maeneo miji kujenga barabara ya umbali wa kilomita tisa kuunganisha vijiji kadhaa kwenye barabara kuu ya Nairobi kuelekea Mombasa Watupatie pahali kama squatters waje atuambie sehemu yenu ndio hii na sisi yetu ndio hii ndio at least tufurahie kuona serikali yetu iko na faida kwetu lakini mambo angiza ngiza 
ndiyo naleta conflict kwingineko maafisa wanane wa usalama kutoka almashauri ya simamizi wa bandari za humu nchini wamefuzu kutoka shule ya utekelezaji sheria huko manyani baada ya kukamilisha mafunzo ya miezi mitatu kuhusu shughuli za usalama we are about 30% good in gender balance and the next training you will see more ladies coming than men so there is no worry about that na mpango wa kuhakikisha afya kwa wote huko makweni umepokea ufadhili wa shilingi bilioni tatu kutoka kwa serikali ya Uholanzi kwa serikali ya kaunti hiyo ikiahidi kubuni hazina kiasi sawia cha fedha kwa kipindi cha miaka kumi na miwili idea being uh, we want to offer to try to offer the best health services to the community at those uh, primary levels Haya yanajiri huku mtoto mmoja wa umri wa miezi minne ambaye alitoweka yapata wiki mbili zilizopita kutoka eneo la Nyankongo viungani mwa mji wa Kisii akiokolewa na polisi na mshukiwa wa kisa hicho kuti wa nguvuni We always deliver when we promise and we've done it again and uh, as we speak now we have our child here and we are going to hand over the child after successful assessment medical assessment has been conducted Timae wasiriwa wa ghasia za baada ya uchaguzi humu nchini wameonya kwamba mazingira yaliyoko ya kisiasa huenda yakawaganyisha wa Kenya tunataka kuona that guarantee ya security kutoka kwa national police service ikiwa imepatiwa mwananchi wa kawaida Na Rais Uhuru Kinyata leo amekutana na wakilishi wa Afrika na eneo la Caribbean katika baraza la usalama la umoja mataifa katika ikulu ya Mombasa. Wakati huo huo kiongozi wa taifa pia amefahamishwa kuhusu hatua iliyopigwa na wakilishi hao kuhusu usalama barani Afrika katika baraza hilo la usalama. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta amekutana na wawakilishi wa bara Afrika na eneo la Caribbean katika baraza la usalama la umoja wa mataifa akiwemo Martin Kimani mwakilishi wa Kenya, Abdi Wabari wa Niger, Tarek Ladeb wa Tunisia na Inga Ronda wa visiwa vya St Vincent na the Grenadines. Wajumbe hao wako nchini kuafikia msimamo wa pamoja kuhusu amani na usalama. Walimfahamisha rais aliyepia mwenyekiti wa sasa wa baraza la amani na usalama la muungano wa Afrika kuhusu hatua walizopiga na kuhakikisha kujitolea kwao kuwasilisha ajenda ya Afrika na eneo la Caribbean katika baraza hilo la usalama la umoja wa mataifa. Wakati huo huo Rais Uhuru Kenyatta pia alifanya mashauri na waziri wa mashauri ya kigeni wa Ireland aliyezuru nchini Simon Coveney katika ikulu ya Mombasa. Kiongozi wa taifa na mgeni wake walijadili maswala kadhaa ambayo ni ya muhimu kwa mataifa haya mawili ikiwemo kilimo na ubadilishanaji wa teknolojia. Na mbunge wa Madhera Rigathi Gashago atazuiliwa katika kituo cha polisi cha Gigiri hadi Jumatatu baada ya kukamatwa na maafisa wa DCI mapema leo. Rigathi alikamatwa huko Sagana Nyeri alinyima dhamana huko mawakili wake Susan Kihika na Irungu Kangata wakiapa kupigania dhamana yake. Mbunge huyo wa Madhera amekuwa kichunguzwa na maafisa wa DCI kuhusiana na zabuni zinazotiliwa shaka za kima cha shilingi bilioni 12 ambazo zinahusisha kampuni zake. Mbunge huyo wa Madhira alikamatwa Juma asubuhi kutoka makazi yake ya Sagana County ya Nyeri na kusafirishwa hadi makao makuu ya DCI yaliyoko kwenye barabara ya Kiambu jijini Nairobi ili kuhojiwa. Gashagwa ambaye alitumia masaa mengi hivi leo akihojiwa na maafisa wa DCI alisemekana kuhojiwa kuhusu chanzo cha shilingi bilioni 12.5 zilizopitia kwenye akaunti zake. Wabunge wanaoegemea vuguvugu la hasla wakidai kukamatwa kwake kumechochelewa kisiasa. The charges which have been leveled against our colleague are frivolous. They are untrue. We are also aware the intent and plan to arrest Honorable Moses Kuria on Monday. I am certain Moses Kuria will be waiting for him. We know the intent to arrest Dennis Itumbi. We are also reliably informed that they were reviewing video footage of my public utterances since 2013 looking for what they are saying is a charge of incitement. Madai yao yaliambua patupu baada ya mawakili wa Gashago kutoka kwenye ofisi za DCI wakiwa mikono mitupu na kusema mteja wao amenyimwa dhamana na kwamba atakesha kwenye korokoro za kituo cha polisi cha Gigiri hadi Juma Lijalo. He, he called me, he gave me instructions to be his lawyer. I came here I was blocked 
by the police to access him. I was not given the opportunity to represent him or even to be present when he was uh, being told to record a statement. They sound very trumped up charges, obviously. And so uh, today they have decided, and then on top of that, they have declined to give him a free bond to release him because we are told that we can appear on Monday in court, but they said no, they have instructions that he must spend the weekend in the cells. Rigathi anashukiwa kwa kujipatia zabuni kwa njia za udanganyifu kupitia kwa kampuni zake 22 nyingi ambazo zinaendeshwa kwa majina ya watu wengine huku pesa zikiishia kwenye akaunti zake Yusufara Darubini Na sasa mtazamaji mwadi wakati wa sport Bila shaka kip naona ile ati ati ya olimpiki ya timae imefikia mwisho na leo olimpiki imeanza kupitia mbwembwe lakini sio kama watu walivyotarajia kipnusu hebu uh, tueleze ni yapi ambayo bila shaka uh, mengi ambayo wanatarajia katika makala ya mwaka 2020 ambayo yanafanyika mwaka huu 2021 Um, kama ulivyodokeza uh, mwenzangu Harith ni kwamba mbwembo shamra shamra na mahanjam kama ilivyo ada haijashuhudiwa kwenye ufunguzi rasmi wa mbio hizo lakini hii leo mkenya ambaye anafahamika kwa jina Rogers Kwemoye ameonyesha matumaini ya kutoa nishani ya dhahabu kwenye mbio za mita 1000 kumbuka kwamba Kenya haijaweza kupata nishani hiyo tangia mwaka wa 1968 tangu Naftali Temu alipotoa nishani hiyo mtazamaji nitakuwa kufamisha mingi kwenye habari za sporti kwa muda usiokuwa mrefu. I'm ever going to have a baby. The doctor is ready to see you. Please follow me. How do you maintain such a body? Juice detox. Me imagine it has worked for me. Definitely need that kind of action. You might just decide to marry you and you live happily ever after. Colette. Everything I have is by me and me alone. My own business. This one is a magnet for abusers. <gasps> Na mtazamaji karibu kwenye habari za sporti inaitwa Timothy Kipnusu na ngwananga na taarifa kwamba Rogers Kwemoi atakuwa akinuia kuvunja rekodi ya miaka 53 ya Kenya kutotoa nishani ya dhahabu kwenye mbio za mita 1000 za michezo ya Olimpiki iliyoanza rasmi leo. Naftali Temu alikuwa mkenya wa mwisho kutoa nishani ya dhahabu kwenye mbio hizo mwaka 1968 jijini Mexico. Mshindi wa nishani ya dhahabu kwenye mbio za mita elfu kumi kwenye michezo ya jumuiya madola mwaka 2018 Rogers Kwemoi atajumuika na mwenzake Weldon Kirui watakaposhiriki kwenye mbio hizo Ijumaa wiki ijayo. Kwa sasa hii nimeprepare mzuri na kwa ile promise nilipata leo kwa matumaini yenye niko naye leo lazima nipoe katikati ya watu Mwezi Februari alimpiku Kibi Wonka ndiye Geoffrey Kamoror na Daniel Simiu kwenye mashindano ya taifa ya mbio za nyikani. Kwa moyo sasa ana kibarua cha kuvunja rekodi ambapo rafiki wa karibu kwenye mbio hizo Geoffrey Kamoror hatakuwa kwani anauguza jeraha. Frederick Mwoki Darubini ni ikiwa kwenye muktadha huo huo mtazamaji Wilson Kipkurui Chumo mwanadhiada wa kwanza kuishindia Kenya nishani ya Olimpiki mwaka 1968 kunradhi aliwa si wanariadha wa Kenya watakao shiriki kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki mjini Tokyo mwaka huu kufanya wawezavyo kutoa nishani kwenye michezo hiyo michezo ya mwaka huu inaandaliwa katika mji wa Tokyo ambako Chumo alishinda nishani ya kwanza ya Kenya katika mbio za mita uh, 800 
Wilson Kiprugut Chumo ana furaha kwa sababu ya kurejea kwa michezo ya Olimpiki mjini Tokyo miaka hamsina saba tangu alipoishindia Kenya nishani ya kwanza mjini humo Kifanya kazi ile ile natakiwa nilijaribu kabisa wakati huo wa sport nilifanya ya kutosa nilikuwa na uliso sawa wote sawa nimeona una wanaje kuna siache ndio kwa utasikia kwa uoga mwingine ni mwoga mwingine ni wewe na wewe wewe au kokrebe mimi na ito na hiyo mtu na ambaye hauzo kutishwa nasema wewe huyu mtu anakemea kama mshale Chuma mwenye umri ya miaka 83 ni mwanariadha wa Kenya aliyestaafu baada ya kushiriki katika mbio za mita 800 kwenye michezo ya Olimpiki miaka 1964 na 1968. Ah usiwe kobe. Usiona kama kitu ambao na kwa kenini kwako. Kwa mimi nilikuwa na sitaiti sana ili nilete medali tukiwasili nyumbani kwake kaunti ya Kericho chumo anafurahia miaka yake ya awali na anajivunia bidii yake iliyompa ushindi mkubwa mjini Tokyo mwaka 1964 amehisi timu ya Kenya itakao shiriki michezo ya Olimpiki mjini Tokyo kufanya bidii na kuipa nchi hii sifa katika historia yake amekuwa ni mzee mwenye na nidhamu tujisikie chochote amekuwa kielelezo na pia ni shujaa wetu tunajivunia kama wilaya ya Kericho tukiwa na shujaa na ningeomba hata county government iweze kupeana hiyo uwanja aitwe jina yake Wilton Kiprugut Stadium Chumo alipokea mwaliko kutoka kwa balozi wa Japan kuhudhuria michezo Olimpiki mjini Tokyo mwaka huu lakini hakuweza kwa sababu ya afya yake <tos> Bila shaka ni usemi uliojaa hekima kutoka kwa mwanariadha huyo shujaa Wilson Achumu na bila shaka wale wanariadha ambao watakuwa na shiriki kwenye michezo olimpiki tuwatakie kila laheri kuiletea taifa hili sifa akede akede na kufikia hapo sina la ziada ila kukunja jamvi la sport inaitwa Timothy Kipnushu na rejesha kwa Harith pamoja na Nancy na mtazamaji bila shaka kufikia hapo tuna la ziada ila kutamatisha darubini wikendi ulikuwa na minansi onyancha na mtangazaji wetu ishara alikuwa Lucy Mwaura tukutane tena wiki ijayo papa hapa majaliwa na kama kawaida naitwa Harith Salim na Ijumaa ndio ile siku kwamba tunaangalia kidogo akiba maneno japo kwa haraka ni kwamba watu wengi hupenda kujihusisha na mambo ambayo hawajui matokeo yake atakuwa vipi mambo ambayo yasiyohusu waswahili wanasema ukijiingiza lisilo kuhusu utapata lisilo kuridhi ndipo wazee wa himaza kale wakasema kamba haiachiliwi kwenye kisima ambacho kina chake hakijulikani hiyo ndio akiba maneno siku ya leo kwa heri Vera Beauty and Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Thika and Meru. Did you know that we are a TVET approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management and many more.